let's go ahead and solve for x 1.1.1 we have x squared plus x minus 12 being equals to 0 which two numbers do we multiply and get minus 12 and when we add them we get plus 1 the coefficient of x that is minus 3 and plus 4 so we're gonna have x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 4 being equals to 0 x is equals to 3 or x is equals to minus 4 just like that we have answered 1.1.1 let's go ahead and take a look at 1.1.2 we're supposed to solve for x correct to two decimal places we know that we are going to use the quadratic formula we have 3x squared minus 2x being equals to 6 so 3x squared minus 2x minus 6 should be equals to 0 we just write in the equation in our standard format x is equals to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything divided by 2a let's go ahead and substitute b is the coefficient of x which is minus 2 plus or minus b squared again minus 2 squared minus 4 ac a is 3 and c is minus 6 c is the constant and a is the coefficient of x squared we are supposed to divide everything by 2a we know that a is 3 so x will be equals to minus multiplied by minus 2 that will be plus 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac 4 plus 72 is 76 everything divided by 6 so x is equals to 1.79 or x is equals to minus 1.79 one and two when you substitute these values of x back into your equation is going to be satisfied you're going to get six on both sides 1.1.3 we have the square root of 2x plus 1 being equals to x minus 1. this question is a very basic question it is always there in the final exam we're going to square both sides we're going to have the square root of 2x plus 1 squared being equals to x minus 1 squared so on the left hand side we're going to have 2x plus 1 uh, the square root and 2 just cancels out being equals to x minus 1 squared x multiplied by x that is x squared x multiplied by minus 1 that is minus x you multiply that by 2 you're going to get minus 2x and then minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 that is plus 1 we're gonna have x squared minus 4x if you take 2x to the right hand side it's gonna be minus 2x minus 2x which is minus 4x and then 1 minus 1 is 0 so x squared minus 4x is equals to 0 we can take x as a common factor we're gonna have x minus 4 being equals to 0 uh, in this case it's either x is equals to 0 or x is equals to 4. let's do 1.1.4 so in 1.1.4 we have x squared minus 3 being greater than 2x so if we take 2x to the left hand side we're gonna get x squared minus 2x minus 3 being greater than 0. let's go ahead and find our critical values x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equals to Zero. we're not changing the equation we just want to find our critical values after finding our critical values we will take care of the inequality now we just want to find our critical values so how can we factorize this two numbers of which when we multiply we get minus three and when we add we get minus two that is minus three and plus one so x minus three x plus one is equals to zero so x is equals to three or x is equals to minus one these are our critical values so if you've been watching my other videos you know the two possible answers we're gonna have here 
is either x lies between minus 1 and 3 or x is greater than 3 or x is less than minus 1. These are the two possible solutions we can possibly have. We are going to test and see which one between these two is correct. So let's go ahead and test this first one. How can we test that one? We take a number between minus 1 and 3 and see if our equation is going to be satisfied. If our inequality not equation. Right. So let's take 1 as it is between minus 1 and 3. We are substituting it into the equation we started with. The inequality I meant. So we're going to have x squared uh, minus 3 being greater than 2x. If we substitute 1, we're going to have 1 squared minus 3 being greater than 2 multiplied by 1. So 1 squared, 1 minus 3 minus 2 is greater than 2. Obviously, this is not correct. So it tells us that our answer is not between minus 1 and 3, but rather x is greater than 3 or x is less than 1. So this is our correct answer. This is wrong. Right, that is one way of solving an inequality. Anyway, stories 1.2. Let's do 1.2 and 1.3 on a separate video.